Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today we're gonna take a look at a family that's made quilting a famous trend. Yup, we're talking about Jordan Fabrics. Quilting has a massive historical aspect and Jordan Fabrics has successfully made it one of the best hobbies there is. Jordan Fabrics is a cozy family type vlog that concentrates on the art of quilting. They had a very modest beginning and it's refreshing to see how far they've come. The channel is a perfect blend of patience and endurance. When I watch their videos, I get the ambiance of a warm, charming lady making her way through the little empire they've created at their sole passion. They certainly do have a gift and a passion for it as they teach us about the value of doing what we love and successfully turning it into a great business. Donna Jordan is a great host and a very well-established entrepreneur, a businesswoman, and a very thoughtful content creator. But when we say business, we get the notion that they might be doing it for profit, and we'll never know, but from my point of view on a worldwide platform like YouTube, people call them fake and low quality. So today, let's see how much of it's true. I've been interested in quilting and I've been following them closely trying to learn about different patterns and innovative designs. I respect them as they've come from a garage to a booking business. So to understand this, I'm sure that no one can be immaculate and there might be some negative parts too, and some of the comments here and there talked about the authenticity of their online persona. A trip advisor posted, This place is so disorganized, shipping takes forever, at least a month, you get ignored, they think more highly of themselves than they are. Here for fame and not customers. Looking at this comment, it comes from a business perspective, and even though it cannot be ignored, there's something that is out of hand. Matt's workshop is a vibrant work area, and they make everything by hand. Everything is handmade, and that is indeed a tight schedule. This shows the dedication the family has when it comes to their craft. Their videos showcase their stores, and the workshop looks very busy. To talk about being ignored, well, during peak hours and a busy day, that is bound to happen with Donna also trying her best to expand her reach and so it can be a daunting task to handle that much stress. And so there could be minor on a busy day, not every customer gets the attention they need. Then comes the part where they think more highly of themselves than what they really are. Well, they've built a whole empire on something that people don't even think about much, and they deserve to be that, but from what I've experienced, they're some of the most humble people I've ever seen. The family takes time to oversee everything from stacking to every little detail. Their work furniture is self-made from plywood and repository racks underneath to make the workstation reliable with markings on it to ensure precise measurements. The workshop itself is enormous and it looks like it was carefully built to make everything easy. The proficient arrangements from the ironing section to the shrink wrap device, everything just stands out. From ziplock to a shrink wrap, everything is so thought out and calculated, you'd be surprised. Well, that is what 40 years can get you. I'm sure that they've succeeded in mastering the art, and everything they offer is top notch. I'm sure if you create something like that, you'd be proud too. With all of this, I believe that they're some of the most genuine and humble people who aren't worried about money, but are just providing great value to their community by doing what they love hand-cut fabrics with pre-cuts. Donna also admits that she reads quilting books and she gets a lot of pattern ideas from these books. The family is as honest and transparent as a business can get, and they motivate me every day to get up and start doing what I love. If you haven't met them yet, we'll leave a link to their channel. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more content where we introduce you to inspiring people like these, and don't forget the bell, and we'll see you next time.